Update 4 on Super Typhoon Dolphin with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 918 millibars. A category 5 moving northwest at 11 miles per hour. At 2 a.m. UTC on May the 17th, this is how it looks. It's located west of the Mariana Islands, south of the Japanese Islands, expected to move towards the north and then northeast in the next 48 hours, affecting the southernmost Japanese island chain, the Ogasawara Islands, and then headed towards the northeast um, and out to sea. So only those islands, um, Iwajima and other areas towards the north, um, will be most at threat from this storm, and possibly affecting the areas of Category 2 or 3, maybe even stronger than that, depending on how it goes in the next 24 hours, but we'll see. But at present, it's a Category 5 uh, out at sea, though, so not affecting any areas on land, and no warnings are in effect at this time. So let's go straight to sea surface temperatures, looking fairly warm at this time at the moment, around 28 degrees Celsius, um, starting to decrease a little bit though eventually, especially as it heads towards those islands in around 24 hours time it will probably decrease substantially. Wind shear is just about on the storm side at this point as well, on the decrease towards the north, uh, very high amounts towards the far east and towards the northeast there as well. Um, water vapour imagery showing dry air to the west of the storm, um, quite large amounts of it as well affecting the outer bands of the storm. Um, and to be quite honest, in my opinion, it looks more like a Category 4 than a 5, at least in those latest frames, um, particularly when you look at the very start of the imagery there. But um, I think it is pretty likely that it was a Category 5 at some point, but officially it is still a Category 5, even though it may not look quite like it. So uh, we'll take their word for it. You can see how uh, with the eye movement there heading towards, still towards generally the, the northwest or perhaps a little bit more of a westward hint to it, uh, but certainly we'll be expecting to see more of a northward track occurring in the next 12 to 24 hours, and I think that's already just begun there on those latest frames. As of May 17th at 2 a.m. UTC, this is what we have going on around the world. Not all that much, to be honest. Of course, we have a Category 5 storm on our hands, but we also have two invests as well. Invest 95W uh, towards the east and Invest 99P in the Southern Hemisphere uh, in the South Pacific. 29 storms have formed so far in 2015 around the world. 18 have gone on to become Category 1 typhoons or their equivalents worldwide with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. Uh, 12 of them have gone on to become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus as well. Torse Dolphin was number 12 and has set a record for becoming uh, the only occasion that two Category 5 storms have formed in the Western Pacific as well. You can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets. The website force13.com is um, still being re renovated at this time. You can also find us uh, on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 and all of those mediums. And you can add me on Skype at Fool13 for Tropical Weather Chat on there. And to join our dedicated chat room for Storm Chat as well with fellow trackers. Um, we're also live later on, well possibly live later on today if conditions warrant, that's May 17th, um, UTC will probably be sometime in the evening but watch out for that on the social pages um, for the latest. That's all for now.